How's everybody doing on this Sunday? What time is it? Afternoon. It's seven minutes after 12 here in Chattanooga. Eastern Standard Time. So, I decided to come on here because I needed to vent. (laughs) So, I went to Walmart to get the things for my dinner. I did decide as after yesterday, if y'all can remember, I was trying to decide if I wanted to do shepherd's pie or stovetop lasagna. And so, of course, I decided on stovetop lasagna. I don't know why I said of course, but I decided on stovetop lasagna after consulting with the other people who I live with, my man and my daughter. Um, and so we got soap top lasagna. So I went to Walmart to get that. Um, y'all can excuse my get up. I went to the gym before I went to Walmart. So I'm kind of dressed accordingly. But anyway, so anyway, I went to Walmart to pick up the things for the stove top lasagna. And $180 and some change later, I'm back at home. So this is either a, a an expensive ass lasagna, a stovetop lasagna, or I picked up a bunch of shit that I didn't need, or maybe I wanted it, or maybe I did need. So I'm just gonna share with y'all my haul from Walmart. So, um, yeah, um, every lasagna needs a good uh, mozzarella cheese. So I did pick up some mozzarella cheese um, and some ricotta. Now they didn't piss me off because. This is the, the this is the large one. I don't know why there's a glare, but anyway, this was the large one, and this is the biggest, the smallest one that they had on the shelf. Now I know, cause I've been to Walmart plenty of times in my life, that y'all have a shipment on Wednesdays, Wednesday nights to be specific, and y'all didn't put small goddamn ricotta cheese on the shelf, and so now I had to buy this big ass ricotta cheese. And I'm only going to use half of it, but I wasn't going to no other store because I don't have time for that. Okay? But anyway, so I picked up that, the ricotta cheese and the mozzarella cheese for the lasagna. So I have the stuff for the for the lasagna, but I picked up every, all other things. I'm tired of water bottles and my refrigerator taking up my space. So I went old school like my grandmother forced by. Uh-huh. Yep. They made me force me to buy it. But I just went old school like my grandmother and bought this big ass jug of water. So I can scoot that right on in there. Save me some space in my refrigerator from all them damn bottles. Folks can get their water game up in the house. Fruity Pebbles, my daughter wanted some of these. I don't really eat cereal because my Weight Watchers diet doesn't allow me to do so comfortably. But my daughter wanted some Fruity Pebbles. So I got her some of those. I got some Barilla lasagna noodles. Now my, I like, Mueller or Muller or however you pronounce it and all they have in Mueller or Muller here at my Walmart is spaghetti noodles and uh, Macaroni noodles. They don't have lasagna in the, their brand, but um, yeah You like that too, Kenya? I you know, I wish I could eat me some cereal But I be ate a whole big ass bowl and use all my points for the day and you know I can't do that because I like to eat other things. I've been wanting me some tea now lately I haven't been able to, why is, I'm sorry if there's a glare, but this is the peach tea and this is the tea well, some new tea I found, but I love tea. I like tea better than I like coffee. So um, I had to stop drinking tea because I used to get migraines before I started taking blood pressure medicine and it was attributed to my blood pressure being extremely high. But so I stopped drinking tea because it was causing and triggering the tannins in it uh, was causing me to get headaches. So I did some research in um, the type of tea that I was drinking, like the black tea and the green tea are the ones that have the most tannins in it and that's what was giving me damn headaches. So um, I'm gonna try this peach um, herbal tea that's, you know, I'm no caffeine and this other one that has all of these different benefits in it, you know, immune support, antioxidants, support digestion and uh mental vitality i'm gonna try these because i can drink me one before i go a cup before i go to sleep and i also can drink this while i'm at work hey sis hey andy hey everybody that's tuning in 
So that's that. I wanted me some tea, but again, I went to Walmart for the things for my stovetop uh, damn lasagna. And I have so far given you four other items like the water and the two teas and this damn cereal that I didn't go there to get. Um, Eris threw these in the basket because she likes to make her lunch and she puts her chips or whatever in these Ziploc baggies, which was needed. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Y'all keep y'all Walmart bags? I know I do. It's good. Okay, I'm going to try it and I'll let you know how I like it, Miss Jones. So I said, hmm, I guess, you know, like I was telling Wendell while we were there, we always say after we eat dinner, oh, I need something sweet. Well, I'm not baking no damn cookies this week. So I picked up some pears. These are the good ones. They didn't have the red uh, ones that I've tried, but these are the brown ones. These are the good ones. Um, picked up some pears to throw in the refrigerator. I also picked up my favorite apples. Um, happy Sunday, sis. My golden delicious apples. I haven't I hadn't seen these in a long time. Um, these are my favorite ones. They're they. See, my mother, she likes the green sour apples. This is kind of a cross between the green sour apple and red because it gives you just a little bit of tart, but it's more so sweet. I don't like no sour ass apple because I can't enjoy it, you know, enjoy it or whatever. Now, they're good for caramel apples because it's a good balance. Okay? What else did I get? So, I got apples and some pears. Um, so, what's my lasagna tonight? I'm making... Um, some garlic or some salad. So, uh, picked up some buttermilk ranch. Eris uh, likes this ranch, and she was very adamant that I bought this particular bottle and not the smaller one because she likes the way that this top opens here. So, yeah. Um, Wendell saw this. I don't know if anybody has tried this. If you have, let me know. But he saw this. Buzz off honey barbecue sauce. He loved the fact that he saw seasonings and things within it. And so he said he's going to pick that up. And so he threw that in the buggy too. I'm not making nothing barbecue today, so I'm not understanding. But maybe he'll want me to make something barbecue this week. Um, For the lasagna, I picked up some Chunky Garden vegetable sauce. Some diced tomatoes. Uh, the basil, garlic, and oregano sauce, and um, not sauce, those are diced tomatoes, and um, some Parmesan garlic. Now, I like, even when I make my spaghetti, I like to mix these because I don't usually have to add any sugar or anything to it to kind of cut the, the tartness, oh, the tart of it. These two work well together, so if you're a person that doesn't like a really, really tart spaghetti, try these together and... Let me know what you think. So anyway, that's my sauce for it. So I got the things for the lasagna. Like I said, I got that stuff. Um, couldn't leave my dog out. Had to get him some doggy food before he bite my ass in my sleep or something. He had like three more bags, but that he needed another bag. Um, I figured I would try um, sirloin meat because I know that if it's like basically a cut up steak, or ground up steak so it kind of cooks up a little differently. I'm going to try that and I'm going to mix a little bit of ground beef to get some of that grease in there for this lasagna. So that's that. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, there, there's more. Because mind you, I went to go get stuff for lasagna. <laughs> now, anytime I make a lasagna or spaghetti, I always cut up me some sweet, uh, Italian sausage in it. So I put these in the broiler, let them get kind of crispy, and then I cut them up and throw them off up in my lasagna or my spaghetti or what have you. So that's that. Of course, Eris, Eris needed some milk with her cereal. I just, uh, now let me tell y'all about my family. When I buy this big ass thing of milk, I end up pouring half of it out. But when I buy the half a gallon size, they drink that shit in two days. So I guess it's like, ooh, I need to get it because it's about to go. I used to go on something for my chunky beef chili. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was good, too. I think it, it, I like the texture of the meat. It doesn't crumble up so much. But anyway, she, um, they don't drink the milk like they supposed to when I buy the big ass one. So we're going to see how this one go. And if this don't go like it's supposed to, I'm going right back down to the damn half a gallons of milk. How you do? 
I fell in love with these. Now, this is also for my lasagna. I don't like, I mean, you know, I like cutting up things, but that garlic should be getting on my nerves. But I have a food processor, and it's easy to just throw these bitches in the food processor and let it get minced up or whatever. And you use that in whatever dish you're making. But I fell in love with these. I like to keep these in my house because I basically use garlic in everything that I cook. Here is the salad for later on. I bought some um, shit to go with it. You'll see it in a minute. But that's just the regular salad. Now, these garlic knots. Now, they have all different kinds, but these are the three cheese ones. Cheese ones. These are so good and so easy to make. You just throw them in the oven, just like this in the bag. Put them in there and take some shits out. But they are so good. Um, I remember buying these when I wasn't dieting. Bought these and we had some Alfredo sauce on the side to kind of dip in there. It was like a fat ass um, snack, but it was good. Just some gar some some Alfredo on the side. And you dip it in there. Hey, Kathy. So these are good. Try them if you haven't. They're good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here go the receipt. I'm gonna reveal the amount afterwards because this is the receipt that I went. I went to get things for my stove top lasagna, and this is the receipt. Eris likes the Capri Sun juices for uh, for school, so she. Picked up these. This is Tropical Tide. I never heard of that. Roaring Waters. Now, when I was a kid and we were drinking Capri Suns, they were hitting. Oh, thank you for tuning in. I love you. Um, Capri Suns used to be hitting. Like, you can get you a Capri Sun, a little quarter bag of chips, and be done. Nah, it doesn't. They don't hit like they supposed to. Nothing really does. You know, a Fago will. When I can get a Fago down here, it will. It'll hit like it used to. But these don't. But did she want these for school? So she got those for school. Um, she loves, loves, loves red raspberries. So she picks up those every time I go to the grocery store. She kind of snacks on these. Surprisingly, she eats very... She likes vegetables and fruits more so than she likes meat. And I think that's attributed to her mother because she likes more so vegetables too. Um, but she picked her up some raspberries, so those are hers as well. Um, she doesn't like the regular Lunchables. She prefers these because she loves salami and um, pepperoni and stuff. So she buys her, every week she gets her three of these. The Genoa Salami uh, Hillshire Lunchables. She'll eat those for school. She gets her three of those. She'll, uh, she'll get the hot dog ones, and um, then she'll get the, the, like I said, pepperoni. She'll find something that has pepperoni in it. Last week, we tried to buy just pepperoni and just like some bread pieces and stuff, and for her to make her own, she wasn't feeling that too well. She liked it all already made, so that was that. I bought this packet to put in my meat. I like to fry my meat in this. You know, you can never have too much flavor when you're making dishes so i add this to my meat while i'm sauteing it i still season it with my garlic salt and my onion powder and stuff like that but i add this in there too hey tawana hey margarita so i add that in there and all these damn bags but that's more there's more okay so this was my doing like I said, I told you I wanted to have me some fruit for when I wanted something sweet. So I did pick up me some navel oranges. I was going to get some of those cuties, those, um, I think they're yeah, the cuties or whatever, but them, they was like quarter size. I'm like, I can eat like 10 of those and still not have enough. So I went back old school and got me some big ass, some, not big ass, but some nice size navel oranges. Um, I think what I'm going to do with some of these is I'm going to do an old school my grandmother type basket on the table or a bowl on the table with some oranges and some of these apples and some some pecans and something and put that on there for the holiday but half of the, the rest of these i'm gonna eat these damn things um window got him a diet seven up we have been finding that hey corey we have been finding that um certain diet drinks don't taste as bad as you would think that they would taste um we, in this, this whole house, we've been trying to do a lot of more healthier choices because 
I didn't enjoy or don't enjoy taking blood pressure medicine. Um, we do this biometric thing at work every year and it tells us where you are and we get bonuses based on that. Um, this year I did pretty good, but my blood pressure still wasn't where I wanted it to be. So um, I'm, on a, I'm on Weight Watchers um, and that made me to do some of the, the choices. But everybody in your house, they say, you know, we don't want you to have to cook separate things. So, um, you know, they're going to they kind of getting on board, too. So Wendell has found him some diet drinks that doesn't have any sugar in it. That helps him, too, with his sugar issue. So, um, yeah. Find you a glass bowl for the fruit. I sure will. It's gonna be on this table. I'm gonna give me a tablecloth. I'm gonna give me some placemats and some nuts and some fruit in the bowl. And it's gonna be there till New Year's Day. Eris wanted to try a dragon fruit, so I bought one and we're gonna try that um, when I get done with all this bullshit. Um, this is my water that I was drinking because the men, I mind you, I left the gym, went straight to Walmart. Um, I was gonna buy water at the gym, but nobody at the front desk, so I just got me some water from home. It's good too. Um, picked up me some mangoes. Now, my favorite part of the mango is when you get close to the core. It's, it kind of reminds you of a pork chop bone. I don't know if anybody on here eat pork chop, but the pork chop bone is the best part of a pork chop when you cook it and fry it real good. And the core of these of these mangoes. Once you cut around, you know, you cut this side, you cut this side, and you cut the skin around that middle part, you just eat that core. Oh, that is some good eating, okay? You, it's amazing what you find out when you start eating healthy, right? But yeah, so I got me some mango. Um, Eris, for school, she picks her up these, so she'll put these in some of those Ziploc baggies to take along with her. Um, Hillshire, Hillshire Lunchables and her juice or whatever. So that's hers. We've got some some croutons for our salad tonight. These are the cheese and garlic croutons. And then I got some bacon bits for that. Um, damn, I forgot. They already, you know, them, them ready-made hard-boiled eggs. I forgot that because I like eggs on my salad. And for my Weight Watchers, eggs don't count as nothing. So I can eat a whole goddamn 12, if 12 of them if I wanted to. Um, and I love boiled eggs, but I just have to boil me some. And it ain't, ain't stopping no show. Um, Eris says she needed some things for her hair because she's going back curly this week. You know, every other week she either goes straight or she goes curly or she likes to keep it curly because it's low maintenance for her. But she got her some things for her hair. So she wanted me to pick up some Shea Moisture stuff. This is Coconut Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangler anti-frizz moisture because her shit will frizz up um but the weather changed so she uh it won't frizz up as because of the humidity but she got some of this and then she also got some of this kids curling buttercream coconut and hibiscus she likes to buy things based on how it smells but i told her you got to make sure it works but this does work I, we've bought it before so that's stuff for her hair and i couldn't just go over to the you know the health and beauty section and I pick me up some things so um oh, this is also for Eric she wanted her some witch hazel um because she uh is going through puberty and she has a tendency to mess with the bumps that come on her face around you know certain times and so she got like a little brown one here and a little brown spot there and she said like, I want to get the spot off my face so I told her witch hazel is a good kind of a toner if you will to use every day and that'll kind of even some things out on your face so she got her some witch hazel but i found this uh clear clean and clear morning burst skin brightening facial cleanser so it wake it says wakes you up cleanses the brighten to brighten the appearance of your skin with caffeine lemon and papaya and so that's my morning that'll be my morning um my morning do yeah That'll be my morning thing. And then next to it, they had these others. This is a watermelon juicy scrub. Gently exfoliates, hydrates, dry, thirsty skin. So I'm gonna try that one. Um, I got small ones of those. Mind you, I went to go get things for lasagna. Okay? And then this, I found this zesty juicy scrub as well. This is a really, really small one. Just for me to try, but my primarily my main morning um, regimen will be this so after I get out the shower 
um, a wash up, this will be what I'll do for my face. So that's that. She likes to wear headbands uh, sometime and they they usually get stretched out or she loses them. So she usually picks up her a good little three standard headband. So that's that. Mind you, I went for things for lasagna. Hold up, what you got? What I miss, Toya? <laughs> I didn't went through a whole damn thing. I'ma save the video so you can rewatch it, but I didn't been through. I went there to get lasagna stuff for my lasagna, and I walked out of there with everything. Okay, I think I'm down to the final bag. So um, Wendell decided to go around. Oh wait a minute, is there some more in here? Oh yeah, it's some more in here. Here I come. So Wendell decided to walk away and go over to the bathroom section. And he was like, uh, well, they got these tiles. So he bought some tiles for us. I think these were like five dollars a piece, but they are good, like good thick tiles. So he got um me the yellow, he got Eris, uh, I mean him the blue, and he got Eris the pink um tiles. These are for us to dry off with. Um, we usually buy all white tiles, um, which we keep those, but it'd be a lot. <laughs> so we always need extra tiles. So we got us some extra ones, but that was that. What else am I missing? Um, I think that's it. So that's it. So let's go back to this receipt. I went to Walmart for hamburger meat noodles and sauce, ricotta cheese and cheese, salad and bread sticks. And I spent $188.53. So, there's that. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. I needed to get that out of my system. I wanted to vent because I went for some certain things and I walked out of there with everything else. And I'm tired of doing that. I wish they would take this Walmart and move it someplace else because, you know, I pretty much go every day. I mean, you know, I don't do the grocery shopping for the month and, you know, be done with it. No, I figure out what I want to eat while I'm at work and then I come home and go to Walmart and come home and make, or, you know, go to Walmart before I get here and make it. So they get money from me. They still gonna get money from me this week. I just, I know it. I'm gonna want me some crab legs or something. Or whatever. But I'm looking at all this mess and yeah, that's pretty much what I did today. I'm gonna tune in. I'll probably be back on here later on after I make this lasagna to show y'all with how it came out. Um I did get my blue crabs yesterday. No, they will complain about Walmart not being close by. Well, they let them complain. It'd be saving me. You know, I guess y'all say, well then don't spend your goddamn money, don't go there. Well, it's hard. It's very hard. It's called a convenience store for a reason, and it's very convenient. Um, all these is down the way, but you know that's a that's. Sometimes you still have to go to Walmart after you leave all these because it's something that they don't have there, which gets you in there, and then you start spending all your goddamn money. Um, yeah, so I might be back later on to show y'all the finished product of the lasagna. I thank y'all for tuning in, and y'all have a wonderful Sunday. Wonderful, wonderful Sunday. I love y'all. Bye-bye.